What up, y'all? More Diddy news. I already have a few videos on my page, so if you want to check them out. But in this video, we're going to get into the kids a little bit. So first, let's get into who all the children belong to, because sometimes it can get a little confusing with Diddy. All right, Quincy, let's just go ahead and clear him up first. His mother is Kim Porter, but I'll be sure is actually his biological father. Pretty much what happened, Diddy took Kim from Al B. Shore and then he took the damn baby to and raised it like his own because that's not Diddy child, okay? So Puff Daddy and Kim, they have Quincy, Christian, and the twins. Then he has Justin from Misa Hilton. Then he has Chance with Sarah Chapman. Now, a lot of people used to think Chance belonged to Kim because Chance was always with the other two twin girls and obviously all three of them favor. And not to mention, all of them are the same age, but Chance actually belongs to Sarah Chapman. And then finally, there's Baby Love from Dana Tran or Donna Tran. You know what? I think Kim had it the worst because she was the first one. And as you can see, based off of the charts behind me, she was always the one he would run back and forth to. So he had Quincy with her. Then he left and had Justin with Misa. Then he went back to Kim and had Christian with Kim. Then he left again and he had Chan with Sarah Chapman. Then he went right back to Kim again and got her pregnant around the same time Sarah was pregnant. And then she had the twins. Hey, yo, he was playing games with Kim Porter. God bless her soul. He didn't do right by her. So now that we have a little bit better of an understanding of the kid dynamic, let's get into some of the more recent issues. So Diddy is pretty much under investigation by Homeland Security and the Fed. Now, he hasn't been formally named as the target of the investigation, but I think all of us know that he obviously is the target. So sometime last week, Homeland Security ran into two of his homes, one in Florida, one in California. Hey, yo, they said when they hit that house in Florida, them boys came out the water like Navy SEALs. They was on a mission. I'm assuming nobody was home when they hit the house in Florida. Now, the Cali residents did have people on the inside, including his two sons, Christian and Justin. Now, I don't know what Quincy was. Quincy kind of be up out of the mix. And I don't know where the little girls was either. I'm assuming that maybe the girls was off to school because this raid did take place about one or two o'clock in the afternoon, maybe a little earlier. So I think it was smart that they possibly planned it around the time frame where the girls would have went home because it just would not have looked good with red dots on minor kids, okay? So I don't know if that was planned. All right, so Misa came out today, which is Justin's mom, and she was publicly frustrated with the amount of force that was used when they ran up into the home in California. She said she felt like they came in too aggressive. So let's take a look at the force, and you tell me if you think they came in a little bit too hard. Now me, I'm going to kind of play this up the middle because I'm black first. All right. So being black in America, anytime you deal with the police, sometimes that can be a traumatizing situation. So I can understand her frustrations as a mom, seeing your baby boys with that type of artillery in their face. If that happened to like my little brothers or my nephews, then yes, I would be upset. I would be emotional about that. On the flip side, I think they took it light on them because they knew that they were celebrity kids. In my opinion, this doesn't look like they were manhandling those boys. I think they handled them with pretty decent care. I have seen people go through traffic stops and get handled way worse 
than how this raid looks like. So for them to be home and for Homeland Security to come in with that amount of force and for them to leave out, you know, no injuries were reported. It doesn't look like they were slinging them on the ground and tossing them around. I think they took it light. I think what the problem is, a lot of us, especially around my age range, since we watch these kids kind of grow up in the public eye to us, they're still viewed as kids. But in reality, these men are full grown adults. Justin is like 30 something years old. He's a, he's a big boy. And unfortunately, right now, the kids are getting caught in the crosshairs of the things and the allegations that the father is having to deal with. So Misa does have the right to be upset as a mother. But honestly, we really need to be mad at Diddy and him even having the kids somewhat involved in all of this mess. And when I say involved, I mean, you know, there's trouble coming. I just felt like he should have had his kids like away from everything that he had going on. And let's don't act like these are some regular charges. Some of the allegations in these lawsuits concern Diddy and violence. So of course, they're going to go in with elements of force if they think that they're dealing with a violent individual or if they think that there may be armed security in the home. Those agents, honestly, they got to take care of themselves. So yeah, they coming in hot and heavy. I did see some people like, oh, these are just like assault allegations and trafficking allegations. They're not the mob. Why are they coming in like that? Once again, you got to remember, there are violent acts surrounding Puff Daddy. In Lil Rod's lawsuit, he said that Puff Daddy was involved with the situation with a pow involved. He also said that Diddy kind of insinuated that he was involved in the shooting that took place way back in the day where Shine took the charge and J-Lo was involved. So Lil Rye has made claims of violence surrounding Sean Combs. Even if we flip over to Cassie's lawsuit, her lawsuit details extreme elements of violence to her and to others. She talked about how she carried weapons for him sometime. She said that he blew up Kid Cudi's car talked about how he wanted to run up and do things to Suge Knight and these are not the only two accusers he has other alleged victims that were saying he was abusive to them so these people think they're running up on a dangerous individual yeah they're coming in with some force and not to mention it was also said on the news that they actually found weapons in the home with the serial number scratched off so we gotta have a reality check here surrounding Puff Daddy Diddy is not accused of some little white collar crimes like insider trading and credit card fraud. He has some serious allegations floating around his name. Not to mention that Justin has already been named in Little Rod's lawsuit. Now, Little Rod's lawsuit is very conflicting to me. I don't believe half of the stuff in that lawsuit. And I find his lawyer, Tyrone Blackburn, to be a little shifty and sometimes uneasy. But there are things in that lawsuit where I'm like, okay, okay, this is a little believable. For example, he was the first one to mention the kid, Brendan Paul, was the one that was responsible for supplying the drugs for Puff Daddy and all the parties. And guess what? When Diddy gets stopped in Miami... Guess who's with him? Brandon Paul, the guy from Little Rod's lawsuit. And guess what he has on him? He has drugs. But back to Justin. Justin is involved in this lawsuit with Little Rod as well. He's accused of being involved in a shooting that took place at Chalice Studios. You can view the video on my page where I go into a lot more detail about that. But he's also listed as someone did it with use to go get girls and actually partake in the freak offs. So when Homeland Security is running up in that house, they're looking at Justin the same way they kind of looking at Diddy. Everybody is kind of on the radar at this point. Now, Tyrone Blackburn is the lawyer who's representing Lil Rod. He dropped an exclusive today that he may be representing a woman who's possibly about to sue Christian Collins for harming and assaulting her. We don't know who this woman is, but I'm sure by the end of the month, we'll have some more information. But I got my old Tyrone Blackburn. He is a little shaky for me. He's had a couple missteps in this lawsuit that he has written up for Little Rod. So I'm watching him. You know, I'm not all the way bought in. You know what? If Diddy really, really cared about his kids, he would start putting things in place and he would begin to kind of back away from his kids a little bit. I'm not saying like he can't be around them at all. But honestly, if it was me, I would let my baby girls go be with their grandmother, Quincy, 
Quincy, you either need to go back home to Al, be sure, or you need to go over there with the baby girls and the grandma. Um, Justin and Christian, I would probably get them a nice little apartment, set them up with their far, far away from my house. And the other two little girls, y'all need to go, you know, go with your mother. Because honestly, you don't want your kids in this type of situation anymore. And Diddy, Diddy should have known the feds were coming. I knew they were coming. If I knew they were coming, how come he didn't know they were coming? Now, don't get me wrong. Nobody knew the time and date, but everybody knew. Anybody who was a little bit smart knew when Cassie's lawsuit dropped, feds were coming because the way her lawsuit was drawn up, there were particular terms used in it, like trafficking. I'm like, whoa, this isn't a normal, like, harassment lawsuit. She's saying that she's been trafficked. That those are like Homeland Security fed term was being used. And then when little Rod's lawsuit came out, the explicit word of Rico was used. So I'm like, yo, Puff Daddy needs to kind of be prepared. These people are coming for you. So I'm surprised he didn't start pulling away from, you know, his family quicker. If I was him, he needs to sell those houses. You don't need them anymore. It got bad energy involved. You need to downsize a little bit and start to set your family members up so they can be straight. Because if an indictment comes, which a lot of people feel like there may be one coming, they're just going to try to bum rush and arrest you again. Or, hey, because you are Puff Daddy, they may give you the option to freely turn yourself in. But all in all, I don't think the force was too aggressive. I mean, SWAT teams, DEA, FBI, Homeland Securities, they're not sending out invitations to raid your home. They coming in and they standing on business. So how do y'all feel? Do y'all feel like the force was too excessive? And oh yeah, make sure y'all subscribe. I'll be doing more videos about Diddy. I'm also going to try to cover the ASAP Rocky case. Jonathan Majors should have his sentencing coming up soon. That shouldn't be nothing major. I'm guessing community service, probation. But thanks for hanging out with me. Peace.